Under the influence of a family physician, I had entered Gettysburg College as a nominal pre-med, uh, preparing for medical school. Although I really wasn't all that motivated to become a doctor. And what I discovered at Gettysburg College was that the liberal arts were wonderful. I, I took the minimum amount of science courses uh, to qualify for medical school, although I liked them. I liked science from the get-go. Uh, I also liked literature and philosophy, uh, and I uh, took courses in those uh, to the maximum degree possible within the context of what I had to do to get into medical school. It came time to apply to medical school. Uh, I wasn't at all sure where I wanted to go. Uh, most uh, accomplished graduates of Gettysburg College who wanted to go to medical school went to the University of Pennsylvania. It was more or less a sure thing because Penn knew the school well and trusted the faculty. But my advisor, who was a treasured uh, friend and professor uh, of, of chemistry, called me in one day to chat and said, well, Mike, uh, you, you have to apply to medical school this year. Yes, sir. Uh, what do you want to do? And I said, well, I, I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm sort of interested in an academic career. I had no clue what that meant. I had never seen a research lab. There was no research at Gettysburg College at the time. I had never met a research scientist. But I saw my faculty at this college, and I liked what I saw of their lifestyle and what they were consumed with doing. Then you should apply to Harvard. And I said, where's that? I had literally never heard of it, just as I had never heard of evolution before. And his response was, in Boston somewhere, I think. So I applied to Harvard, and I applied to Penn, and I was admitted to both. Harvard, of course, sent a telegram. Penn sent a first-class uh, letter. Uh, and I was forced then confronted with uh, how to make the choice. And I was re-interviewed at Penn by the, uh, the vice dean for academic affairs for a scholarship. So I made a second trip to Philadelphia. And he asked me the same question. What do you want to do? And I told him, gave him the same answer. I'm kind of interested in an academic career. And he said, well, where have you been admitted? I said, Harvard and here. And this Penn dean said, well, you should probably go to Harvard. Uh, and I did. Uh, but not before finally visiting Harvard. I wrote to them and said, I've been admitted to Penn and Harvard, and I'm having trouble deciding between the two, could I come visit? And they responded, oh yes, we'll pay your way and come on up. And I went up and it was, it was a complete fraternity rush. I mean, I came home with my head spinning about what the place was like. Um, <clears throat> and um, five years later, um, I had an exit interview. The Dean of Students at Harvard did an admirable thing. He did an exit interview with every student at the Harvard Medical School. And when I went in to have my exit interview, he started by saying, Mike, before we get into the exit interview, I just can't resist asking you whether you remember that letter. I said, what letter? He said, oh, the letter about how you were having trouble choosing between Penn and Harvard. Oh, yes, I remember that. He said, well, I thought you'd like to know that the staff thought that was so funny they put it on a bulletin board. <laughs>